understanding oily residue in everyday language. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a common phrase you might encounter in everyday English, oily residue. This phrase is often used in various contexts, from cooking to machinery, and even in beauty products. Let's dive into what it means and how you can use it effectively in your conversations. Oily residue is a two-word phrase. The first word, oily, describes something that has the characteristics of oil. That is, it's slippery, greasy, and usually liquid or semi-liquid in form. The second word, residue, refers to a small amount of something that remains after the main part has gone or been taken or used. When combined, oily residue refers to a small amount of oil-like substance that remains on a surface after an activity or process. 1. In cooking, after frying food, you might notice an oily residue left in the pan. This is the oil that remains after cooking. 2. In mechanics, machines often leave an oily residue. This can be found on engine parts or tools that have been lubricated with oil. 3. In beauty products, some skincare products might leave an oily residue on the skin, indicating that they have not been fully absorbed or are too rich for the skin type. Let's put this phrase into some example sentences. I need to clean the oily residue off the stove after frying chicken. The mechanic noticed an oily residue under the car, indicating a possible leak. This moisturizer is not suitable for me. It leaves an oily residue on my face. Understanding synonyms can help broaden your vocabulary. Here are some related terms. Film, a thin layer covering a surface. Grease a thick, oily substance. Deposit, a layer of substance laid down naturally or left behind. I hope this video has shed some light on the meaning and usage of the phrase, oily residue. Remember, understanding these phrases in context can significantly improve your fluency and comprehension of the English language. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in our next lesson.